Hey guys, sorry it's been a while. I just got back from Sturgis uh, last Saturday, today's Sunday, a week later. Just needed some time to recharge, rehydrate more importantly. I uh, had some household things that needed to be get, get done, had uh, some yard work needed to get done, some work work needed to get done. It just took a while to get my head back on straight so I could get back here for you guys. But we're gonna go sort of on location we're gonna go instead from the garage to the driveway. I know, big transition. So, I just kind of wanted to go over a little bit of what what I did to the bike while I was there. So, we're not gonna be installing anything. Just gonna show you what got installed. But before I get to that, guys, I gotta tell you, last year my brother and I hit the Advan tent. This year we did again because these freaking koozies. I'm not a koozie guy. Somehow in the last year I've acquired. Damn near a dozen of them. I don't know how, but those Advan koozies are freaking awesome. You know, it's just leftovers, uh, material that they use uh, on their saddlebags, but they're so cool. I've, now I've got one in orange from last year. I've got a green, a black, and a red. Uh, my brother uh, picked up the same set of colors, except they didn't have any orange. Um, they didn't have any blue. He got a blue last year, but... Uh, same colors other than he got beige instead of, I think, black. But uh, they're so cool and they do a great job at, you know, holding on to your favorite, uh, I don't know, soda. But, and keep your hand from getting too terribly cold if you find yourself choosing to be a big old weenie, like I do sometimes. But they're super cool and they were like two bucks a piece out there. So, you know, rock solid. Uh, Anyway, so we got the street glide here. Go ahead and extend my handle. And I did the delete. That rear end is looking clean and nothing better than a clean rear end. So, but before I show you what it looks like now, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at my point of view. So, I did hit up the guys out there at uh, Fairing Exchange and they did an amazing job at swapping out that flat black that comes on the Street Glide Standards for a gloss black ultra fairing, meaning no hole for the mirrors. So it's just a cleaner look. I personally feel like they should come from factory like this. I get why they don't. But now it just looks so much more finished. And because the guy, whoa, that got a little bit close. Because the guys out at uh, uh, the fairing exchange are so awesome, dude had this interfering out of there in probably 15 minutes. I was, I was absolutely blown away at how quickly he did this. I wish I remembered his name because I'd call him out. But 15 minutes in, I'd still be taking screws out and getting that windshield off. And he had the whole damn fairing out of there. But uh, looked at me, he's like, all right, well, do you want to swap out these cloth speaker grills for metal ones? Fucking <laughs> yeah. But uh, how much? It was, ah, free 99. <laughs> Shit, I can afford free. What else are you going to find for free out at Sturgis? You know, for your bike, no less. But it ended up just being the stock takeoffs. I don't know if that's coming through. There we go. So they're still the Harley ones. Got the bar and shield. But they're the, the metal ones instead of those goofy cloth ones. So, you know, uh, I brought the cloth ones home with me. They went to my you know, big old bin of takeoffs, but between the, the gloss fairing and the metal speakers, man, it just, it doesn't change anything about how it handles, but it, it changed the entire look of what I see. Everything else I've done to the bike is pretty much about what everybody else sees. But, uh, and those guys, God, they were fast. I mean, inter interfering out, gauges swapped, uh, speaker grill swapped, back in, buttoned up, done. Got 45 minutes tops, maybe? And they even do the little skirt here, the lower skirt that matches. And I gotta give the guy props, because the first one, he said, had a scratch on it. I didn't see it. He saw it, so he junked it. Uh, if I junked it, set it aside. And went and grabbed a whole different one. So, and this was on, I don't know, Tuesday? Wednesday? I don't know. You know, my brother and I, we got out there with his lady, and you know, it was, got rained on because we all got rained on at Sturgis and so they're doing this in their tent the winds blowing in we're in rain gear trying to stay dry I was just amazed at watching them so I got that done 
and super stoked. And I did. They also did the taillight delete and put on one of the uh, Custom Dynamics curved license plate mounts. I got it in gloss black, but only with the white light above it to, to illuminate the tag. But because I, I didn't want the tri radius, I didn't care between my facial lights and my bag lights. It's 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 enough light back there for me. Everything's sequential, so I've got it, it gets attention. But I also found a guy, very well known pinstriper. Some of you guys might be familiar. His name's Dan Kite, and damn, uh, I got to watch him do his thing. He threw some pinstriping on the bike. Yeah, I'm freaking loving it, uh, and. I, it took him probably all of about 20, 30 minutes to get this thing done. It's it's freehand, it's with a brush, and it's painted on. I couldn't have, I couldn't be more ecstatic. So there it is. You know, he's got it with the silver. He's got it in gray. Little pops of orange in there, which has kind of been my thing for this for this build. And then you know, really cleans up the rear end here. Now I got my lights here, here, same thing on the other end, and it just illuminates a white light up top. So it just really, really cleans that up. So, you know, that's, that's what I did. That's what I had done, I should say. That's what I paid people to do. This is all stuff I could have done, you can do, but I was there. I budgeted for it. So why the hell not? And the interfering that they did in less than an hour probably would have taken me two days and a whole 18 rack. So save my liver, you know, save my time. We all said thank you. So, and they were super cool out there. You know, I was, I just had a good old time. They're out at the vendor park out there by Black Hills Harley. I was a little bummed that Custom Dynamics wasn't there, you know, because my brother and I, we were looking for him. He did the low profile bag lights, but, you know, I guess I didn't make it out this year. So no harm, no foul. Fairing exchange guys, they do the custom and dynamics lights. They were trying to get me to do the oh, the digital gauges, the Dakota digital gauges. I want to. That's going to be take some more savings. So, but like I said, nothing super exciting. I, I did some video f uh, of the needles ride. I'm on the fence about whether I'm going to post that up. If you guys want to see it, I'll figure it out how to, you know, throw something up from it. You know, it was a hell of a ride. I didn't get to do Iron Mountain. Maybe I pushed out, but it was it was Thursday. It was real windy. My brother was too up. We decided just, we'll bag it. We hit needles the day before, so you know what? Screw it. We'll just sit tight. We'll kill off the leftover beer that we had and the snacks we have. Roam around. Just have a good time. Relax before get, you know, they we had to load up his bike so he could trailer home and I had to do a bullet home, so I did. I went straight through from from the Buffalo Chip to my driveway, about 840 miles. Did it in 13 hours. I was tired, so tell you what though, that saddleman and these highway pegs that I put on, and uh, these highway pegs are from Kimi Moto, and personally, they're just as solid and a quarter of the price as Harley's. Made such a difference for the ride this year. Because uh, last year I had no highway pegs. I had the stock seat. I had my rear suspension done, but oh, I mean, just aside from being tired, I could have kept riding thanks to that seat and and, and the new uh, bars, the little baby apes I put on here. Just really changed up the comfort of the whole bike. You know, got home, got everything put away, chilled, and then Sunday, uh, sorry, mow the lawn. I keep stepping on stuff, just chunks of grass. Um, Sunday, wheeled the bike out because, oh boy, she was full of bugs. Uh, all, everything just was hammered with bugs from the ride out, you know, riding around there through dealing with the mud and the rain and the bugs and the whole ride home dealing with bugs through South Dakota, a little bit of Wyoming and Montana. Montana got a lot of bugs. Uh, it was just hammered with bugs and just sprayed it down with a garden hose, you know, got out my, my car wash soap, and you know, I let it sit for three minutes, maybe. And because I'd already done that ceramic coat, that uh, that Armor Shield 9 from Avalon King, damn, 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 damn. Uh, they most, 90% of the bugs just slicked right off. I was super excited about that. And 
uh, the ones that didn't, just a little bit of elbow grease, they popped right out of there. So uh, my brother, we did his bike, you know, shortly before Sturgis and he was a little hesitant because the water wasn't running off of the windshield of his Road King. I was like, dude, your windshield's got dirt on it. It's going to stick to something. Just chill. He gets home. He washes his bike. You know, this last Monday we had calls me up because, okay, I'm sold. I need to do my other bike and my girlfriend's bike, or I guess now it's his fiance's bike. Um, where do I go? And I filled him in and, uh, he's a believer now just from the whole standpoint of washing the damn bike. So again, they don't know me from Adam ceramic, your bike guys, gals, all of you. It's not that expensive. Just the little vial of it. So, you know, just the, the, the ceramic stuff itself, uh, from, from Avalon Kings. It's on sale right now, I think for 75 bucks, you know, you know, it's, it's really not a bad entry fee. I did my bike, my fat boy, my brother's road King and his, and my dad or my brother's dad's who road glide all with one bottle, one, we did four bikes. So shit works. I highly recommend, but I just, I, I can't get over how cool that interfering looks with those new speaker grills. Not that I look at the speaker grills, but so cool and then the the pinstriping just really sets it off with all the little orange accents that i'm doing and i don't think it's gotten to that obnoxious point yet orange is a difficult color because too much orange it's obnoxious not enough it's a nice accent so yeah, i looked at the clockworks new windshields that they put out there it looks good i just worry that that's going to be a focal point and i don't want orange to be a focal point but uh, the new Clockworks windshields look badass. I just didn't pull the trigger on it. So, but it was a good ride. You know, it was a beautiful ride out for the most part until getting rained on, getting past uh, Billings. But whole ride back was beautiful. Uh, not a spot of rain. Sun was out. You know, not super in a hurry to do another. You know, 800 almost 50 mile bullet run. But I would, especially with this new seat and these new bars and the new highway pegs. You know. I recommend it so I will try to drop some links down below uh, for those highway pegs for uh, the Avalon King for uh, the fairing exchange guys you know I'll see if there's something there for Dan kite I, I, I don't know I just I heard he was there and I found him but uh, couldn't be more ecstatic it was a hell of a good time um, but like I said comment down below if you if you want to see uh, the video that I did for needles, it's about an hour long, so obviously I would trim that down. Uh, just show you guys the meat and the potatoes of it. Uh, I did get out there and I threw the drone up in the air and got some aerial shots of, of that valley, you know, and did uh, threw it up again when we got through needles out to this little uh, parking turnout with a restaurant and a lake. So, yeah, so if that's something you guys are interested in, let me know. I'll figure out how to kind of snip it together. You know, top it out at 20 minutes and uh, get it uploaded. Otherwise, you know, back to figuring out what the next project's going to be. I just wanted to touch bases with everyone, let you know I made it. I, I didn't drown. I didn't get uh, lost in the mud. Yeah, you know, I, I made it home. So tired, but home. But uh, you know, it was a great time. Don't think I'm going to make it out there in 24, but 25. You know, uh, I'll be back. You know, hitting up Sturgis for the 85th should be a damn good time. And there, one side note, there was a couple selling these uh, steel signs out of this uh, trailer and they were super cool. I, I picked one up for you know, my mom, picked one up for the wife. They had to pick one up for me, this guy here. Didn't realize it was a red, white, and blue thing when I bought it, but you know what, that's fine. A no, cool little steel buffalo head skull, because why the hell not? They were all reasonably priced. I think that was the most expensive one. It, 65 bucks you know so good quality and I, I don't remember their name but they were cool they were just in, in a trailer right behind the iron horse so if you saw them and you remember their name throw that below because you know it, that could help somebody for next year if they're out there but it, they had a lot of badass stuff so anyway thanks for hanging out uh like i said uh, it, drop comments down below if you got questions comments concerns uh, I know we're up to about 15 subscribers so far, uh, but if, you, if you're if you watching this and, and you're enjoying it, 
give me that thumbs up. Hit me with a subscribe, and, and we'll keep trucking along and keep doing stuff. Uh, just the poor man's way. So, otherwise, we'll catch you all next time. Later.